What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're going to talk about virtual assistants. Hey, hey guys, thank you so much for checking out my YouTube channel and another one of my YouTube videos. I seriously appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, commenting on all my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I hope I continue to deliver value on entrepreneurship, business, and everything in between. In this video, we're going to be talking about outsourcing work to VAs, otherwise known as virtual assistants. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I am speaking about virtual assistants that are highly skilled, that are outside of the USA, generally in third world countries, that can do just about a million different things for you and your business. Now there are three very important questions you wanna ask yourself before you even consider a VA. What do you want the VA to do and are they capable of doing it well? What price is the VA gonna cost you and is that ROI worth it to you? That piece alone is very important and we'll discuss that in depth further on later in the video. So definitely watch from start to finish. And the third question that you wanna ask yourself before considering a VA is how much of your time, your most precious asset on earth, will this save you and will it be worth it for you? All right, so how exactly do you go about finding a good VA and getting them in place? Listen, I highly doubt that you're gonna run into a VA in a Facebook group at complete random and totally just hit it off and that's gonna be your perfect VA that will do everything for your business, specifically all your needs, everything that you want at the right price. It's probably not going to happen that way. Where do you get the best referrals for things like really good restaurants that you enjoy? Your trusty friends, of course. Trusted recommendation is what you need when you're finding a VA. You need someone that's been there, done there, got the t-shirt, that knows the market, knows your business, knows your needs, and knows exactly who to steer you to and who to steer you away from. Test, 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 and test again. Now, even though we already know VAs can do just about a million and a half things, there are three particular categories that all of these things fall into. Now, this is really important information for you when deciding whether or not even you want a VA in the first place. The first category is things that you flat out hate doing, like checking your email and responding to random people or responding to DMs on Facebook. It could be anything, like literally anything you hate doing, that's a category of something a VA can fill. Now the second category is things that you can't do by yourself. So this is things like maybe if you have a wife or a husband and a family and you need to free up some time so you can actually live your life and these are things that you just can't do because you don't have the time. So for that, you're gonna need a VA. So that's a category that that would fall into. The third category of things that VAs can be doing for you instead of you doing them yourself is just because you're really, really bad at doing those things. All right, so let's go over exactly what VAs can do for you. Now this is gonna be super beneficial for you, especially if you don't know what VAs can do already or if you've never heard of this concept, this is gonna really blow your mind. All right, so the first item would be general virtual assistance. This is something as stupid as unsubscribing from email newsletters that you just don't wanna receive anymore. How about things like content writing, SEO, digital marketing, social media management, so for instance, you can have a VA added as an admin on your social media pages, your groups, your pages, whatever it is, and they can basically act as a complete admin, adding people to your groups, denying people from your groups, banning posts, doing anything you ask them to do. Basically, you train them on exactly what you want them to do, they'll do it. Notice that I also included content marketing. That includes things like writing up articles on LinkedIn even, or just posting on your social media pages and groups. That's huge. You can also find a VA that's a web developer. These guys are really, really smart. Don't undercut them. They can create an entire WordPress website for you, update it consistently, add things to it, add widgets, 
take in leads, do anything that the website you want done, done. How about a VA that's an audio and video editor? This can come in handy for YouTubers that blog every single day, but really don't enjoy having to edit and upload all of their videos. Now let's take it back towards the business side. So bookkeeping, accounting, keeping track of hours, your profit loss statements. You can even have a VA act as a receptionist for you, answering calls, leaving voicemails, and checking messages. How about for things like sales and CRMs? You can have your VA enter in data, like contact data for sales contacts, into your CRM. If you show them exactly what you want them to do, how you want them to do it, and how to organize the data, they can handle everything. You can have your VA transferring funds for you, making bank deposits. You can have them transferring money from one account to another account, paying bills, all sorts of things. How about writing and sending those pesky invoices to your clients? How about a VA that checks your email for you, manages spam, and responds to customer inquiries. Your VA can even handle your entire calendar. So when people want to book through you, they can go through the VA instead. The VA can basically handle your entire calendar. You simply tell them when you want your calendar blocked off. They handle all your appointments. They set everything up for you. All you have to do is log onto your laptop and just take a look at when you have calls. How about composing documents or proposals that you otherwise wouldn't want to spend hours of time on. All right, so that right there is already an absurd amount of things that a VA can do for you. And that's literally 1% of what a VA can actually do for you. So VAs for US business owners generally come from all across the globe. Asia, the Philippines, Africa, South America, Eastern Europe, India is a big hotspot for VAs. They literally are everywhere. Now, I know that a lot of these areas in the world are third world level, but definitely do not undercut the quality and the character of the VAs and the results they can produce for you. I have personally seen some of the most impeccable work coming from a VA living in a country that's in absolute shambles. Just for example, one person told me that they were using a VA in Pakistan that was essentially 10xing their outreach efforts on recruitment. He also told me that this person speaks perfect English and can accomplish pretty much anything you ask of him. The one thing that you absolutely have to do with a virtual assistant is train them on what you want them to do. That process can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to possibly a couple of months. All right, so let's talk money. How much does a VA cost? Now, because the US dollar is so strong compared to the currency of the countries that I mentioned earlier, you can usually get a VA for incredibly cheap. Now, all things are relative and it's always going to vary, but one of the best pricing structures I've heard of before is a VA working full-time in India for 300 US dollars per month. Now, just to put that in perspective, you're essentially paying the equivalent of what would be an average American salary in India, but in India. Look, at the end of the day, the choice is really gonna come down to time and efficiency. Is a VA gonna make your business more efficient? And is it gonna give you more time to do other things that you wanna do, like spend time with family or other leisure items that you'd like to do yourself without focusing on your business? Usually, the only person that can answer that question is you, my friend. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the alert button, so that you know every single time I come out with a brand new video. Until then.